So the powers that be over at Walmart actually sent and delivered to me my order for Arc Commander Havoc. I was so worried they would cancel it silently and I would have to pray and hunt for it. But thankfully, the release date came and they sent it my way. I did order two. This is the only Arc Trooper I'm ordering two of because Havoc is one that is very near and dear to me. I love his design. I just wanted one carded. I think the card art looks really cool. And I just, like I said, just wanted one carded. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, Walmart sent these in a bubble envelope. So one card, the one you see here, was pretty, pretty decent in condition. The other had some pretty icky creases. So unfortunately, I didn't really have the choice on which one to open and which one to keep in the package, which stinks because the one in the package has better paint on the helmet than the one that I opened. <sighs> First world problems, right? <laughs> but here we go. Here is... Clone Wars, a vintage collection, Arc Commander Havoc from Rancor Battalion. We are getting the Rancor Battalion Arc Troopers in an accessible way. You can buy this for under $20. You don't have to spend nearly $200 for it. Well, I just need to put that out there. And also, it's accurate to the show, unlike the one you would have to spend tons of money for. That one's based off of concept art. This one is accurate to the show. Speaking of that one, <clears throat> before we talk about anything else... Let me get this guy in a more neutral pose here so we can actually do a bit of a comparison with that original figure. Now, the original figure, I've shown it a few times. Yes, it is a victim of, you know, being old and the plastic just not standing the test of time. Uh, it's not too bad right now, but I've accepted I'll just have to repaint tons of my old Clone Wars figures. So here it is with that original super rare, super hard to find Arc Trooper Havoc from the Arc Trooper Battle Pack back in the day. So seeing them side by side, it's crazy that I'm saying this because this was one of my favorite figures as a kid. I was so fortunate to get it and I played with it so much. I loved it. That's probably why a lot of my old figures are discolored like that because I had fun with them. <laughs> but I do have to say, seeing the new one, it looks a lot better. It has the gray face, it has the chest armor, it has the additional armor on the legs. It's so much more accurate, comes with so much more gear. It's very, very nice. Uh, they're both very cool in their own way. I still really do like this original Clone Wars one. It's still a very fun mold. Uh, you know, he's got the flip, the flip antenna. He has a nice looking helmet. Uh, he's got the pistols, obviously. He's, you know, got the waist articulation. A nice waist that, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> you know, he's got the classic Clone Wars articulation, you know, it's a Clone Wars clone trooper figure from, I think this guy came out around 2010 or so, so he is, uh, 13 years old, <laughs> that's kind of crazy, uh, he does also have a removable backpack, which keep in mind if you're looking for this guy on the aftermarket, oftentimes they're missing the backpacks. So yeah, really cool original Clone Wars figure. Uh, sadly, I do pose mine like this just to disguise the... I'll, re I'll just repaint it, you know? I'll just repaint it. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> but here, and I do have to dis I do have to say that's just kind of hanging on his backpack. That doesn't actually have a place to tab in. This new one, though, so far is the best version of this ARC Trooper mold. Uh, the paint is really, really nice. Uh, I love the chest armor. I I'm happy that's finally there. Uh, this mold does have the pistol, uh, well, technically carbine that you can plug onto the back. Unfortunately, no paint on the backpack, which is kind of missed. Uh, being kind of wedged, the rifle in the backpack too, which is cool. Uh, does have a lot of nice paint on the helmet. Uh, does have the issue, the same issue with uh, the pistols, where they're very loose in the hands and they're even looser in the holsters. Actually, as soon as I opened it, the sky, one of the pistols just vanished into the ether, and I never found it. So, uh, one of these pistols is actually from one of the, I'm so sorry, one of the custom ARC troopers that I was sent. Uh, so one of them is without a pistol currently. I don't know if I'll ever find it, but it seriously just vanished. I didn't hear it fall. It just it vanished, straight up vanished, uh, which is a, a big problem with this mold. The fact that the, the, the grip is loose, and I mean, just look at this. You get it in that holster. It's like, oh, cool, he's got it in the holster, oh... Oh, it just falls right out as soon as you tip it over. I didn't even tip them upside down. It just vanished. I had it in the in the thing, and it just vanished. Uh, but, yeah, this guy looks great. Uh, 
I do have to say, though, mine does have a slight paint problem, and you might not have even noticed it. It's not actually that noticeable, but if you're really examining it, you will see it. So on the helmet, the mouth, you can see the dotting uh, is fairly lined up here. You can see it's pretty on par with the line of the sculpt, but over here it's slightly low. See that? It's not fully lining up. That's not that bad. I had it way worse on my Arc Trooper Echo. It was like fully down and I actually had to repaint it. I mean, look at that. That's pretty solid. Doesn't look too bad. But unfortunately, like I said, I didn't have a choice on which one I opened. And my carded one, the helmet is like perfect. <laughs> the helmet is like perfectly applied. So I'm kind of bummed that I couldn't have opened this one. Uh, but you know what? I figured I'd rather have the nicer card and that paint issue isn't too bad speaking of this card love that picture really really cool our commander havoc right there it does have the clone wars 20th anniversary on the tippy top and turning it to the other side you can just see that's just the current wave that i've already reviewed and then that scout trooper uh i don't know if that's getting an individual release or if that's the one uh that's packed in with the bar with the speeder bike very odd that that's there. If it's getting an individual release, awesome. That's news to me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, very happy to have this carded. You may be noticing something. You never see Arc Commander Havoc without his helmet. I actually want to keep him in frame. You never see him without his helmet in the show. But Hasbro awesomely decided to take the creative liberty of giving him a goatee and sideburns. <laughs> And I think it really fits the character. Uh, the character is just his name. You know, one of the only things he said was like, 99, get out of here. And then he died. <laughs> He's not much of a character. But still, I mean, just a clone named Havoc. You would expect him to have a, a goatee and sideburns. <laughs> and it looks really cool. It's really fun. I think it's a great way to uh, give, him, give him a little bit more character. Because, I mean, you do see Colt without his helmet in the deleted scene. It, it's It's neat. I don't remember what they did for Blitz. I don't know if they did anything special for the TVC Blitz coming up. I also, I hope we get Hammer. I mean, and now granted, that's not even his official name. He doesn't have an official name. But, I mean, we're confirmed Colt and Blitz, and we have Havoc right here. We better get the, the, last, the last one. If not, I will be very mad and probably just make one myself. <laughs> so, getting the helmet back on. I mean, it does have the same features of this mold. Uh, like that one, yeah, it does actually have the antenna that flips. And awesomely, the rangefinder right there is painted blue, which is accurate to the show. It just looks so nice, man. This is honestly one of the nicest looking 3 3 quarter inch clone troopers. It's one of my favorites. This is absolutely one of my favorite 3 3 quarter inch clones. Uh, the rifle, I'm actually surprised how well it fits in the backpack when it's just kind of wedged there, but it fits. It's almost like it's intentional for you to wedge it in there, but it, it works. Not really show accurate, but it's a nice way to keep all the weapons on him. The articulation's exactly the same as we've seen for all these other clones. He's got the dumbbell at the head. But you can see, even with the helmet, it has a lot of articulation. It's so funny, the Vintage Collection Hasbro team is like, oh, this character, you know, never saw his face, but the toy itself has a removable helmet. Oh, let's let's be creative and give him sideburns and a goatee. Well, Black Series, if Black Series ever does this guy, you bet that helmet's is going to be glued on. I, I'm willing to bet money that helmets is glued on. But he's got the, the ball hinges at the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists. Uh, he's got the ball joint at the waist. He has the ball hinges, unfortunately, still at the hips, because this is before the ball jointed hips. Uh, swivel at the thigh, ball hinge knee, and he's got the ball hinged ankle right there. So articulation is really nice. He looks gorgeous. He poses gorgeous. He's amazing. But he's Walmart exclusive. <laughs> so that's... As always, a huge stinker. I mean, look at that. That's just so cool. It's so cool, man. And they did such a good job with the paint. It's so crisp. It's applied mostly perfectly. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, just look at him. That's Havoc right there. Whenever I have doubts about, like, collecting three and three quarter inch every once in a while, and I'm like, man, should I just collect Hot Toys or whatever? I get something like this, and I'm like, no. No, keep doing this. You love it. I mean, look at that, man. Sure, the new one's ever so slightly shorter, just by a hair. That's just an issue with the mold. The mold's just shorter. But yeah, man, that's that's satisfying. This one, I mean, sure, it's still animated, you know, it's but it's based off of concept art. This is my main havoc for my collection, because he it, it looks like him in the show. 
And honestly, I don't mind these realistic styled Clone Wars figures. I really don't. I think it's a great way to integrate them with the entire army. If you have like tons of the old Revenge of the Sith style figures. I, I love this Havoc. I really do. Do I recommend it? What do you think? Of course I recommend it. It's Havoc. It's great. Uh, it's funny. I remember when this figure came out, he didn't even have a name yet. <laughs> I, I don't remember what name I gave him, but I gave him some sort of name. Uh, but yeah, he's Havoc. I think it's a great name for the design. Really cool clone. Like I said, it is Walmart exclusive. I do not know if it is in stock on the website. But Walmart has been getting better with their exclusives. You've been able to order them. They've been accessible. You can get to them, which is good. So you may never see this in stores. Some people might, which is awesome. You might find like two whole pegs full of a thing. But hey, you know, at least it's more easily available on the website. When it, when it comes internationally, I've got no idea how this guy's available. I just hope you can get it. It's a really nice figure. Highly recommend it. This one, this one's one of the greats, man. This is why we're collecting clones for, for ones like this. And honestly, I do have to say, I need to put this at rest for collectors that have been grieving over that ARC Trooper battle pack that have wanted this figure for so long. Honestly, in my opinion, as someone sitting in a position where I have basically every three and three quarter inch clone I want, you know, I'm missing some weird little variants here and there. I don't even think I'm ever going to worry about getting those because I'm super happy with my three and two quarter inch clone collection as it stands. I have all the ones I want. I have all the unique characters, all the unique armors. I've, I've got it all. I've got almost everything. I, like, I'm, I'm, we're talking the only stuff I'm missing is, oh, this version of Rookie Rookie's Echo has a slightly different handprint. Oh, this version of the 327th Star Corps has a, a slightly more brown shoulder pauldron. That's all I'm missing. I'm missing stuff like that. <laughs> so, in my position, you know, I have the original Havoc, and I have this new Havoc, and I have all the other Clone Wars Arc Troopers, I have Blitz, I've got Colt. In my position, I'm going to say, you don't have to worry about these. Just get these new Vintage Collection ones. Honestly, I think they're much better. I think they look gorgeous. They capture the look of the character much more accurately. They're better figures. I would just go for the new ones. Like, now granted, the old ones are cool. If you can find them for a nice deal, go for it. <laughs> They're cool. But keep in mind, they are old figures that succumb to things that happen to old figures. This one, though, he isn't at, he's not made out of any of the plastics that will yellow. He looks great. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough. I've made my point clear. I love this Havoc, and you should have it in your collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Alrighty, have a good one guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.